Well, Happy New Year to you all uh, at, uh, from this uh, beautiful vista here for Father's Justice, of course, and a new year is upon us. And Will we give up our, our children to uh, our uh, exes uh, and the complicit family court uh, and uh, renounce our, our right biologically to our own children within the country of Canada uh, under the Liberal government? The answer is no, of course, we will not. And we should look to the new year to rise up and en masse demonstrate our resolve for justice as fathers and males in, uh, within our rights and the Constitution, and we should build upon those within legislation to enshrine the rights of fathers throughout the land. Um, and we have to uh, look at the logic here and uh, the paradigm that uh, we must uh, change is that fathers have fundamentally every aspect and every right of parenting that women do. And women do not have the sole right of custody ever. There should be no such thing as sole custody in this country. There should be a default of equal shared parenting that is rebuttable in circumstances uh, which are uh, to be should be judged in a criminal court rather than a family court which should be abolished in its entirety it should be dismantled it is well established its ineffectiveness and its um, burden to the taxpayer and its boon to those legal perpetrators of uh, and and who are complicit in what we know as child abuse uh, for example, my situation currently is that of, it's hard to uh, comprehend, but it's that of a second year of a protection order which has been issued by a North Vancouver provincial court not familiar with the, the long-standing decade case under the Divorce Act federally in the court of British Columbia Supreme. And the other party who has... Uh, sought to frustrate, thwart, um, and undermine uh, the law in relation to every aspect of the Family Law Act and the Divorce Act, um, using other parties, APATHs, Confederates, Judiciary, Police, School Board members, Social Workers, the gambit, the entire range of, of uh, what has been weaponized to sever the relationship, a healthy one, with my two children uh, through hyperbolic statements to total uh, pathological lying. And so where we're at now is I have to pose the question that in applying for an application for protection order, uh, a woman simply has to tick the boxes of provincial uh, form, uh, retain some sort of counsel, in this case uh, a lawyer of ill repute, no question, uh, upon listening to their completely fabricated and uh, non-truthful deposition uh, in a court of law before a judge, misleading them. We have to place the onus as well on the judiciary who are complicit and not just listening, but going along with what can clearly be seen as misrepresentation of fact. Um, for example, this year's application was to expire, as I've previously stated, October 26th. The other party went into court two days before to seek another order. There was no breach whatsoever. Now, the other parties was asked, has there been a breach? Have they breached the order of protection for 365 days of depravity of two children already withheld 
and coercively controlled against the orders for parenting and that have that has done harm to both children psychologically mentally uh, and all of those areas that are well studied and documented from the 1980s and before I'm talking about Richard A Gardner the judiciary should have to read this um, study it should be the basis upon which they were allowed to be called to the bar and I'd like to point out as well that anyone who can't uh, use critical thinking skills when presented with complete fabrication and hyperbole in a court document should be relieved of their duties as being infirm and uh, in this case or complicit in child abuse. We know that depriving children of their parents is not only uh, an act of malice, it is a direct act of domestic violence of the highest order. In Canada, this is dismissed only if it has to do with a father who has not access to his children. If it were a mother, the government and society would go to lengths to protect that right. We should revoke and give them back to fathers. And it must be done 50-50. There can be no question that the discrimination based on gender is against the Charter. Um, and anyone who argues and takes issue with that has a problem. And to change society is a fundamental uh, difficulty. It's being done right now. It has been done through the woke movement, and well, which was fast becoming the era of misandry and, and wokeism, all pertains <clears throat> to only certain ideologies, minority groups, and we've done away with utilitarianism. And that is to say that we have done away with the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And so pandering and catering to these ideologies has become the norm. What's up is down. What's down is up. And so here we are, 2024, men without their children, without their children being able to communicate with them, uh, you know, to, to say hello to two deprived children, as mine are, um, when they have been removed against the orders of the court from a province across the continent, and who are ecstatic, in the case of my daughter, to see their father, serendipitously, not out of stalking as the other parties deposed. Quite funny when you consider that both our families are from Nova Scotia, uh, from opposite ends, mind you. Nonetheless, the children were to be with me. The court knows this. By looking at the orders and seeing what the orders entail, the other party removed those children during a time they were to be with me, and the other party has no excuse. The lawyer made complete fabrication out of whole cloth, as they say, in order to facilitate an application to harm two children. This order should be, or this, this lawyer, in my estimation, should be removed from the bar. He should be removed from duties, as should the judge. Quite frankly, if they can't discern this uh, manipulation of the law, they do not deserve the bench themselves. That is clear. And so, what we have is the continued abuse of children throughout the Western Hemisphere. And those who family law acts are doing this en masse to fathers who are completely fit and completely uh, duty-bound to their children for, you know, life and these children have had to go without. Uh, they should be allowed to sue the government for untold millions and billions of dollars. This is an industry which has capitalized on children and used them to benefit their coffers. Um, the other party has stolen the youth and time, which cannot be brought back. Some over five years have been stolen from the lives of two children who love their father and grandmother 
and who have been denied that by acts of malice. My former in-law has lied in totality. And she herself endangered the lives of both my children, for which she should be brought before a court to apologize at the very least for her actions and answer to the. And not only that, but they should be brought in a criminal court of law to answer for their actions. Because what they did broke the law. Section 127 is to interfere with court orders. That is what the other party did. Section 282, 283 is to harbor children against the orders. <clears throat> and that also occurred. I was given a false address for which my children were taken. And the other party then fled for not just to go, as they say, swimming, but to hide them for the duration of time which they were in Nova Scotia against the orders, taking time for the fifth summer in a row. It's absolutely, um, you know, obvious when you look at what is there, and yet it's ignored and pretended that this is in, you know, some sort of uh, reality. This is again, you know, where we are at as a society when we deny the reality at hand and substitute it for convenience of authority. And then what we do is we erode that authority. The family court has proven it has absolutely no benefit to society other than to cause strife, uh, disharmony, and bilk the citizens of Canada for their hard-earned taxpayer money. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. And I hope that you will find your children next to you at your side and justice will be served in this country.